Do you ever have any burning questions about Genshin? How many Primo Gems do I need to guarantee Miss Splitter? When is Albedo Banner going to come back? Why does Charlotte's attacks look like an Among Us? The other day, today, I was doing my usual artifact runs when I got thinking. How long does it take to max a character out? How rare is a 50 crit value artifact? And most importantly, what is the gravitational force of Teybat? How long does it take to max out a character? There are a lot of factors that go into maxing a character, but let's assume that you have enough Mora and Heroes with. Let's consider the Ascension materials first. At world level 8, bosses have an average drop rate of 2.55, and you need 46 in total. By doing some dividing, this means that around 18 runs is enough, which is the same as 720 resin. Now let's look at the weapon. If you don't already have a weapon for them, then a 5 star weapon requires 6 golds, 14 purples, 14 blues, and 5 greens, which if we use the crafting conversion, is the same as 335 greens. At the highest level weapon domain, you get the equivalent of 17.05 greens on average, which means that around 20 runs are expected to max a 5 star weapon, which is around 400 resin. Talents are the real sinker though. To triple crown a character, you need 114 purples, 63 blues, and 9 greens. Which again, if we use the crafting conversion, we get 1,224 greens. Each talent domain gives you around 10.18 greens per run, which is around 120 runs, which is the same as 2,400 resin. But you also have those weekly bosses. Assuming you have enough Dream Solvents, you need 18 weekly boss materials in total, with each run giving you around 2.38 boss materials on average, which is around 8 weekly bosses, which is the same as 240 resin. In total, without even touching artifacts, it takes around 3,760 resin to max a character, which is basically 21 days if you never let your resin cap. What about artifacts though? How rare is a 50 crit value artifact? My friends and I have been playing this game for quite some time, and none of us have a 50 crit value piece. Just how rare is it? Realistically, a circlet won't get 50 crit value. If you wanted a high crit value piece, you would go for a crit main stat. And since the main stat can't be a substat, that leaves us with 4 out of 5 pieces. Now the only way you can get a 50 crit value piece is by starting your artifact with 4 substats. This is a 25% chance. With these 4 substats, you need both crit rate and crit damage on there. This is so f***ing hard to calculate since each substat doesn't have the same likelihood of occurring. Uh, I tried solving it, I'm not smart enough, but if you think you're up for it, I'm really curious on the exact answer. But, you know what, I'm just gonna estimate it. There are 258 possible combinations of crit rate and crit damage, and there are 5,040 possible combinations of 4 substats in total. Because each combination has a different probability of occurring, since, you know, the substats have a different probability of occurring individually, you can't just do 258 divided by 5,040. Luckily for us, crit is the lowest probability of occurring, meaning that our number is below 5.12%. To get a more precise estimate, we can take the substat attributes as an equal probability and compare it to the actual probability. So the chance of getting crit as the first substat, if all substats had an equal chance of occurring, is 20%. The actual chance of crit showing up as the first substat is 13.6%. 13.6 divided by 20 is 0 0.68. 0 0.68 times 5.12 gives us our approximate value of 3.48%. It's not perfect, but you know, it's close enough. But anyways, you have your artifact at plus zero. And every single Genshin player can tell you, no matter how good the artifact piece looks at plus zero, Hoyovers will always- will, they'll somehow find a way to make it a stinker. So to get a 50 crit value piece, you need to roll crit every single time when a substat gets upgraded. 
Thank goodness this part is equally proportional, because then we can just do 0.5 to the fifth power, which gives us 3.125%. The last piece of the puzzle is realizing that this is not enough to get 50 crit value. When a substat gets upgraded, it will increase by one of four random values. To get 50 crit value, you need high rolls as well. This happens seven times, two starting out for crit rate and crit damage, and then five upgrades. Out of the 16,384 possible combinations, only 701 of them result in a crit value of more than 50, which is a 4.28% chance. Which means in total, the chance of getting a 50 crit value piece is 0.000039309% chance. This means that in 100,000 artifacts, or around 1.87 million resin, you might get one. It's basically the same chance as getting two 5 stars back to back on zero pity and winning 50-50 on both of them. Now, I know what you're thinking. What is the gravitational force of Tate?